Hello everybody and welcome back to Kataria Fables, where today we've got some quests to hand in, which is very nice, and we also have some more orcs to kill, because uh, i got to grind grind those orcs until I get enough ironstone. I've got five, I need five more, and then I need another five to upgrade my longsword, so it's quite a lot. Looks like Mrs. Apple has a quest for me as well. Why, hello dear, do you want to hear about my latest experiment? I was wondering if it's possible to make the items that monsters drop into something delicious. Maybe a dessert, a tasty pudding. Great, now you're on board, would you please gather some mucus? It seems to be a suitable substitute for gelatine. How many? I always sell mucus, I doubt I have any just like lying around. Twenty, okay. We can do that. Right, so the first thing I want to do is go and find Erin, wherever she was gone off to. She better not be in the orc lands. And give her the blueberries that I found. Where is she? Let's see what Oliver goes through. <clears throat> She's looking at dangerous slimes. Erin, you have a death wish, I swear. Right. Woo, delicious blueberries. Thank you so much. I'll bring them to Ms. Apple. I hope she can turn them into a super delicious berry pudding. Please keep it a secret from Grampy, okay? Will do. 200 poor pennies, so just for collecting three berries. That's not too bad. Right, so now we've done that. What else we got to do? Got to get mucus from the slimes. We could do that first, I guess. Be, that will be quick. Except for the fact I've got to get 20 of them. Oh my goodness. It would help if he didn't move. here isn't it never opened that chest before wow had 50 poor pennies in it luckily every single one of these that I shoot Does drop a mucus, which is great. How many have I got now? Eight. I need twenty. Nine. And it seems slightly below my capabilities. This one. Everything else has been very balanced so far. Eleven. Getting 20 with my previous weapons would have been really hard, so maybe this is appropriate to my level because of the amount she's asking for. Lost counts, 16, 17. Uh, 
and get three up here. And then run through to the orc lands. That should be 20. I will double check though. Oh yeah, yeah. I'm just updated. Perfect. Really quickly run through the forest. See if the bees are around. If they are, then run even faster. I'm doing nothing, okay? Leave me alone. There'll probably be an orc around here. Okay, coal is good, right? Hello. Oh, the plants. Clonked me, even though I got him. That's really annoying. Will one of you please drop some iron stone? Iron stone, yay! So that's my sixth piece of ten. I'll probably use the iron stone for the bridge before I use the iron stone for anything else. Um, so where am I right now? I'm at the forest plantation. All right, so East Forest Field is where the bees are. So this is the only place where they are at the moment. Unless I go through the forest sanctuary and I manage to get through there. Let's let's like just run through really fast and see what's there. That is my tactic for most things. Just run through. We'll see what's there. I think that's a checkpoint, but I don't think it's a forest golem. Okay, that's interesting. So forest golems and tree ants and stuff. This may make me die, but we'll see. I'm not allowed to go beyond there by the looks of it. Something cool up here, though. Portal to another world or something. I don't know. But it looks like I need to go that way to get through, and it looks like I'm not allowed at the moment. So I need to do more quests, I think. So in that case, there's absolutely no point in me being here. There will be no more uh, orcs or anything here. So that's fine. It's worth a little look around, a little run around, and I need to get more orcs because I need to get more ironstone. So maybe that I need to go down to the south before I come back up here. There's a chest there I can grab. I'll try and get it, I think. I need to use my triple shot more as well. 
But I'm leaving that boss well alone. He's going to take way too much of my time to get him. So unless I need something off him, he's getting left. Paul. Oh, that's my seventh piece of ironstone, I think. Jillions of them now. I like the knock back on that. Uh, that I think that's eight. I saw someone moving up here. It's a bit easier if there's not a, like a bajillion of them. Nine. If I could get 15, that would be great. I don't know if I took them out. No, I've got five at home, so I want to get up to 10 total. While I'm here, I may as well try. It's 11. That'll be my longsword upgrade, you see, so I may as well give that a good try. I could maybe sell some of the orc tokens as well. A bit of extra pennies. I cannot get hit again by a gunner. I'm going to need to eat a croissant. I think the only one left is the boss now. I don't tend to like to try and kill him because he is far too difficult for me right now. So you're going to leave him till later. I'm just going to nip down into by river, by river field. I'm back again to get some more of them to spawn. So I want to get a total of 10. If I can, I'm on 6 at the moment so I need 4 more. That shouldn't be too hard, right? Four more. We'll keep them respawning. I'm not going to use my special ability at the moment because there's a gunner on me. Oh, that was annoying. No! Die, Fluffy, die. So distracting. Still on six, just checking because I wasn't sure if I picked one up there. The knockback on that fire is so good. And they're just not giving me anything I need right now. They're not giving me those sweet, sweet iron stones right now. Generally quite easy to avoid. Don't want, to, don't want to mess with you at all, mate. No, 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 no. None of them have the stuff I need. 
I need to eat that croissant and I'm gonna need to probably eat the apple. Yeah, that makes me a little bit more survivable. It might means I can do more up here. I think I need to reload the area again though. I was the only one that's running around to that boss man and I'm not going to him even if he drops five iron stone on his own. Really that whole run, no iron stone got dropped at all. So that was a bad luck one, wasn't it? token. Lovely. Oh, there we are. Seven. One, seven pieces are out of the ten we want. Some, it just seems like sometimes they all have them and sometimes none of them have them. Probably not that at all, but that's just how it feels. No, not him. Don't fight him. He's bad news bears. No one up here, really. Okay, I'm going to reload again. So we just need one more, no, two more pieces. Two more. Come on, that shouldn't be that hard, right? I want to get a sword upgrade as well as finish the quest all in the same, like, run. That way I don't have to keep running up here. So hopefully the fact that I'm here for a little bit longer will be, uh, worth it. I was kind of trying to get the gunner with that, but oh well. Okay, nine. Oh. something on him. I didn't. Okay, I'm just wa I have one more. One more is all I need. There's a gunner stood right by the boss. That's not great. vegetable souls they're all useful and they're all things that can be sold or i'm actually collecting coal for a uh, chest upgrade as well so that would be really useful but i do wish we could get that last piece of iron stone so i could get out of here wouldn't that be handy is actually more useful against those gunners because the gunners um, you need fast attacks against them definitely oh there's one more see that that's not funny oh don't go near the barrier she love here and everything. Ow. Alright, the fluffy's out of the way, which helps. And I can just concentrate on you. Ding! 
Didn't even drop. So rude. Didn't even drop. <laughs> Didn't even drop one iron stone. How dare you? It is difficult to collect, definitely. It is a toughie, that one. Coal and orc token. Again, coal. But like I say, coal is good. Because coal will help me upgrade my chests. I'm gonna need to do that soon, I'm almost certain of it. I'm whinging about getting coal, but it's actually kind of useful to you. Oh, and there we are. It's my last bit. Perfect. Yes. So I should now have enough to upgrade my longsword. So we'll, go, we'll just go back through by River Fields. Um, so we should be able to get back quite swiftly this way. We, especially if we actually use the fast travel. Instead of me being like, no, let's not use the fast travel. Let's just run through. Just having a little drink of cola while I guide my character with my thumb. <laughs> so let's hope the forest bee doesn't catch up with me. Stupid forest bees. Gotta keep hydrated on these long recording sessions. Oh, so I can go to here, but I can't go from here. Okay. So there's different types. There's That seems to be a two. You can teleport to it. And then also those like plates on the ground that you teleport to, they seem to be like, I'll show you, like this one over here. Oh. I'll show you in a second. There's some the ones you can teleport from and ones that you can teleport to. So those those um, checkpoints you can teleport to, seemingly. Which is nice. So if I go here, now I have the Forest Sanctuary checkpoint as well. So these you can teleport to and the checkpoints you can teleport to. And these wings, these little sort of wing things, they're the ones where you can teleport from. So... Chief Oliver, I have sorted out uh, Erin, yes. Huh? A secret mission? What do you mean? No, I'm lying about that. It's a surprise. Studying plants? Bah, she could simply ask Timmy about it and wouldn't have to put herself in danger. She promised not to do anything reckless in the future, did she? Yep. Thank oh, goodness, at least she listened to you. Thank you, kid. At least I can worry about her a little less now. I won't lie about much in this life. But I will lie my butt off if it's someone's surprise birthday. <laughs> so there. Yeah, let's go and see. Oh, let's go and hand it into Mrs. Apple as well. I hope all that gathering mucus wasn't too much trouble for you, sweetie. Not too much. I'll make the pudding right away. Slime pudding. I present to you monster pudding. It's too cute to eat right, but please do. Do what? For the first to taste it, of course. You agreed to help me with my experiment, didn't you? Don't worry, I'm sure it won't do you any harm. I hope. So I've got a monster pudding there now. Monster pudding is milk plus slimes. Five slimes and one milk. So it's 25. 30 for the milk. 55. 75. So you've got to remember, it's got to be more than 75 to sell to make a profit, but that's going to be amazing. I'm just go and kill monsters and make a huge profit off them, rather than having to grow anything. Right, so what I wanted to also see was... Oh, yeah, we've got all the stuff on me right now for the longsword. Perfect. Oh, that's going to be so much better. Attack power 20 to 48. 
I, I'll be using my sword a lot more now, I think. Um, clay is probably going to take a while to find. Oh, it's sap. Sap and copper ingot. And the bow is uh, clay and copper ingot. I really need to be saving up more copper ore. And I'm being terrible at uh, actually bothering to harvest that stuff. So let's take, take out my pickaxe. And just run around poor village and get all the stones and copper and everything. Oh, you know what? Before I do that, though, I'll do that on the way back. Let's go and hand in the iron stone, and then it might tell us more about where we can find hard shells and clay. And then I'll uh, have the stuff I need to upgrade my bow, which would be so good. New bow for the win. Right. So, as usual, run as fast as I can through everything. Run, 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 run. Past the onion. Run, 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 past the other onion. Don't get hit by those guys, ever. And there's another onion. Like if I ever wanted to farm them, I could always come back and farm them. There's no problem. My apologies, soldier. The bridge is out of it. What? What? Oh, uh, did I get the wrong amount? <gasps> oh! Oh, I hate my life. I forgot to get the other bits out of my chest. <laughs> Typical she lab error. It's okay though, it's not far to get home. I'll bring him up another day, I guess. Right, so while I'm in a relatively safe place, let's have a look at all the quests I've got and see. So. It really is just the corn to harvest, and other than that, it's gathering these materials now. So I've done a lot of the other stuff, which is awesome. <sighs> I wish I hadn't left my stuff in my chest, but then every time I don't leave stuff in my chest, I end up with, like, more stuff. Ah, oh, it's a nightmare. So now we have monster pudding. So this is good, because it's something that I can just buy unlimited amounts of milk from Timmy. For 30 gold. And mucus. And then we have monster pudding, which is awesome. So I'm going to go and pick up the iron stone. That'll be the first thing I do. The second thing I'll do is go and sell the monster pudding and see how much money I get for monster pudding. Okay. Put away. Now I've got extra orc tokens that I maybe don't quite need. So I'm wondering whether to sell them. Thirty-three of them. How much does thirty-three orc tokens sell for? Eight hundred and twenty-five. Good to know. Monster pudding sells for 95. And I said anything above 75 is worthwhile. However, there's not a lot more than 75, is it? So probably not the best thing I could be doing. Probably better for me to be making cookies and growing loads of wheat to make the cookies. It's a bit more of a hassle, but probably way more worth it. Okay, I'm gonna sell the orc tokens as well. I can always go get more. So, 825, so they're about 30 each, I reckon. It's, yeah, 25, 30 each, something. I will see um, next time I get orc tokens, it'll tell me a price on them, but... <clears throat> I've never sold stone before, apparently. I have now got some coal as well, which is great. So I've got 10 coal. Nine logs and ten coal. I need fifty logs. Oh man. Where can I find all that? Ah. Oh. 
I need to find a place that's got loads of trees. I just haven't yet. I mean, I'll get there eventually just from logs on the farm. I don't even know if the trees respawn. And they probably do, like in the village. I'll keep an eye out. Oh, you know what? I won't be able to buy any seeds right now. Because <clears throat> it's too late. So I'm hoping that my farms that I've dug out won't. What is happening to my voice? It's annoying me. <clears throat> So I'm hoping that the... <laughs> Still not right. I'll have to stop recording after this one then. Until my voice recovers. It might do by the end of the episode though. <clears throat> right, so we're looking for anything to mine around here. Any, any trees to cut down. I need the copper. I need to start saving up copper so that I can get copper ore. Hello, pumpkin and popo. I imagine the more I harvest it, the more it's going to respawn. So, this is a few trees around here that have respawned. Great. Let's get my axe. I think they are. I mean, if we go to Pumpkin just now, right? I think there's a couple of places that uh, will open up later on. I've forgotten their names though. So the mountain tunnel areas will give me um, like a mount. Will give me um, a place where I can harvest things. But I don't know about whether I'll be able to harvest trees there. The only trees I seem to be able to harvest are the ones that glow. And they don't seem to always respawn. No, there was one around here too. I do get the odd, uh, very odd stump growing. But other than that, it's not great, is it? Wood is a bit hard to come by. I don't know if maybe someone in, in Rivera Fields like sells it or what. Yeah, I imagine I just have to keep harvesting so that I can make sure that things respawn. There we go. A little bit of coal in there as well. Huh? So I'll go put those away. It's very late at night now, so I'll probably go to bed. Then in the morning, my corn will be ready. And I can give that to Kiki. Yeah, we've got, definitely got another day in us. Then I will uh, go down. I definitely have all the ironstone now. Yes, I do. I'll go down with all the ironstone and hand that in and find out where the next thing to get will be. So the coal needs to go away. <laughs> the stone does. The wood does. It is. Monster meat. My new sword. Well, enough for another orb now as well, another elemental orb. Just saving those up until I decide what I re what I really want for my next spell because I'm not 100% sure right now. And then there's an apple and we're saving those up for apple pies. Okay, it looks like I haven't watered my corn today either so we'll do that before bedtime. Beautiful. Ah, no! 
Okay, there we go. I need to put my new longsword on my hotbar. Oh, I'm going to go killing slimes tomorrow, I swear. But yeah, it's probably going to be better for me for selling slimes, though. Like, if I have a load of slimes, I may as well just go and get a corresponding amount of milk and make it into monster pudding. It takes minutes to do that, and it's going to get me an extra 20 per five slimes, so... And seeing as it's five slimes would only go for 25 anyway, it's almost doubling their value. For the sake of buying some milk. Okay, so we're a bit richer today, which is lovely. So the first thing I need to do today is put on my hotbar... Let me think. I don't have much, much in the way of healing items on my hotbar anymore after doing all those orcs. Um, so shortcut my pickaxe. And that shortcut my longsword. Well, I never get these things right. It's better. Okay, so today harvesting corn and going back to Rivero Fortress and, hand and handing in the ironstone are the orders of the day. Unfortunately, today, because I wasn't quick enough to replant, all of my fields are gone. I'll have to rehoe them. That's fine, though. Honestly, once I get, like, better stuff, uh, once I get better, uh, like, farming tools, I will probably do a lot better with my farming. I'll be a bit more on the ball with it. At the moment, I think it's a bit too much. Okay. My voice has corrected itself, though, so that's good. Whatever it, it was going through, it was, having a, it was having a funny five minutes, wasn't it? Wow, you're definitely Uncle Payne's grandchild. It takes a lot of work to bring them to harvest, but you'll soon see a profit from selling the crops you grow on the farm. It'll help to pay for some of the items you can use on your adventures, right? <clears throat> Keep up the good job, sorry. I'm expecting a lot from you in the future. A thousand poor pennies? Oh, wonderful. Wonderful, wonderful. Now then, what I want to look at is what I need for the, all the apple pies and stuff. So apple pie is like one flower. It sells for 150. Cookies is two flour and an egg. So really for all of this stuff, I need to be growing wheat. Up until you know I get pumpkin stew and things like that. Pumpkin, carrot, potato, kale, onion, veggie soup. But at the moment wheat seems to be order of the day, so I'm gonna go and buy Now I think we're done with all the quests here, so I'm thinking um, 27 wheat seeds, and that should allow me to do quite a lot of apple pies or cookies. Ms. Apple has another quest for me though, what do you do when you get hungry in the middle of a journey? Do you always pack your lunch before you go, or do you prefer to forage for something edible from the wild? I forage in the wild i.e. buy something from the shop on the way. <laughs> if you're not careful enough, you might get poisoned. Want me to teach you something quick and easy to fill your tummy? Let's make use of something from your farm, sweetie. How about onion rings? They're quick to make and don't require much preparation. Sure. Please bring me a lot of onions. I'll make some for the kids as well. They can enjoy them as an afternoon snack. Let's not worry about the expense, okay? I'll cover it. Right, so how many onion rings do we need, and how many onions do we need for an onion ring? Hang on, let's just check the request. So, snack time, nine onions, okay. We also need, so I've got, I'm going to have quite a lot to do now. Nine onions. Okay, so there's one thing I'm going to be doing um, in just a second, which makes all the sense in the world considering how much I'm having to plant right now. And that is, I'm going to take my three silver bars that I got, and I'm going to upgrade my watering can.
I also need to go up and like when I'm in Rivera Fortress in a minute I need to go and just check like what I need for armors and things because I've got a feeling there's a load of armors I could be getting lifesteal and all sorts of things and lifesteal is going to be powerful like really powerful for me because I do a lot of hits compared to how much damage I take so for me that's going to make me so much more survivable um, yeah, so anyway, I'll grab the silver. Let's go and see um, Shamrock. And see if I can upgrade my water key. I'll do it before I regret it. This is where I find that the bows need silver. Not until I get all the way up to composite though, so that's going to be ages away, and by then I might have found silver, so... It's fine by me. Veteran sword. That's a squire bow. I don't have any of the stuff for them yet. Copper keys. Cost a thousand. And key keys all cost a thousand. Plus whatever. Silver key is ironstone. Oh! Oh no, ironstone and silver. Alright, oh, ironstone makes keys. Oh well, those orcs are going to be so worth farming then. Okay. So we need to go plant onions and wheat and everything. I just wanted to do that first. In fact, no, we're going to go to Rivero Fortress first because I want to go there while the shops are open. And then when I come back from there, I'm not going to do anything else. Come back from there and plant all of my uh, crops. And it's a rainy day, so it's a perfect day to plant them. I haven't really opened up too many new locations yet, have we? I'm sure there's probably, I probably at some point should have more of a look around Rivera. Although I did, I suppose, trying to find the bridge. Let's see if there's any, like, secret chests I've missed or anything. Because there probably are. I need to have a good look around the inn again as well. I definitely feel that. So far so good on the onions. Oh no, everything's here. Oh my goodness. It's all in, like, the one same place. You can't stand still around those guys, though. My goodness. Maybe with my new longsword, though, I might be doing better. Okay, so Soldier Robin. Fantastic. That's all the ironstones we need. Impressive work, Soldier. Ironstones check. Next up is clay. I heard from some, from some fellow soldiers you can get clay by defeating monsters in the forest area. Right, which ones, then? Forest Sanctuary. Those golems can pack a punch. Ooh, they can indeed. That's going to be tricky. But uh, that's where you get clay, apparently. So we'll, we'll, I guess we'll find out. But I did say, and I did promise, that what I was going to do today... I promised that what I was going to do today was to uh, do my planting. So that is what I will do. We'll go back to the farm and we'll plant everything. And then tomorrow, probably next episode, that'll be now. Oh, actually, I can just go straight from here. And then tomorrow, uh, what we will do is we'll go and get clay from the forest creatures. And then I'll have to work out where, where hard shells are coming from. Please don't tell me, like, those poisonous creatures that spit acid at me are where I'm going to get the hard shells. Um, that would be terrible. <laughs> but I don't know what other area I've not checked, so... Hmm, okay. Interesting. So I should have nine onions and nine... Um, Times three, so twenty-seven. 
wheat to make into things. So I need four squares. Oh, and I can sell my corn as well, or make it into something. Probably sell it for now. Yeah, I'll sell my corn. Beautiful, 855. Well, it costs a lot of money to get 27 uh, seeds of that and 690. Oh, wow. Wow. Okay. These are very expensive. Right, I need my hoe. I'm getting more of an idea of the sort of things that I need right now. Oh, X is swap now, isn't it? And when you're in here, X is swap. And then when you're in here, X is equip. So I need to make me... line up today. I will make it work. If I see if I don't. I figured this might be a bit easier for being able to see all on one screen. Come on. Yeah, I managed to hoe them all without making a mistake. I have no idea if you hoe and then hoe again, does it remove? No, it does not. Can you pickaxe your, what you hoed, does that remove? No. If you axe it? No. Uh, if you hit it with your sword? No. So nothing removes it, so you've got to be really careful. That's why I did it right out to the side there. Just to make sure. Okay, so... I'm hoping... Maybe logs come from, like, the tree ants or something. I'm... I don't want to hurt them, though. Because they're peaceful little creatures. Okay, so next job is to get the seeds. So we'll start with the onion seeds. Tomorrow, I should be able to use my lovely watering can to water everything. So I'm going to put my hoe, hoe away again. That? Don't need that. I can harvest a 3x3 three three area with a sickle. I never use it though. I always forget. I've got some milk from somewhere as well. That's interesting. Okay, well, I think it's time for bed now, and I think it's time to, well, yeah, yet another episode to be ended. Ah. There we are, so I hope you enjoyed the episode. If you did, then please do leave me a like below. If you would like to see more Kataria Fables, then please subscribe, and I will let you know when the videos are out. I hope to see you next time. In the meantime, please look after yourselves and keep being awesome.